guy's first time doing stand-up comedy, which is pretty awesome. Um, so hopefully he does good. You know, give me your undivided attention, guys. It's first time ever. Come on, guys. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. Clap it up for Tony Woods. Tony Woods. Let him hear. train set and a candy tree and puppets. What? I'd have been right in his house playing with a train, eating candy, butt naked. <laughs> hey, man, your hands cold. Cut that shit out, Mr. Rogers. <laughs> yeah, that probably wasn't the best way to start off. <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> it's all good. It looks at my he said, no, fuck you, dog. <laughs> you ever want to kill somebody? <laughs> I mean, not dead, but wouldn't it be? Yeah. This is good, man. I've been listening to the comedians kind of off and on and stuff like that, man. Right? And that's the best thing about this shit, man. You get to travel. This is my first time today. But. Okay, that didn't get nothing like that. Yeah, don't worry. I'm used to that bullshit, man. You know what I'm saying? I know how to get you back. Because, you know, I feel like the dude in the front of the parade, the one with the stick. But the whole band has gone down another street. I'm just so like, man, shit, like, what you doing? I'm in a parade, bitch. Where the fuck they go? I'll come and get you back. It's all good, man. You have a good time, you know what I'm saying? I just, believe it or not, not from this show, but I just came back from a world tour. <laughs> you know, thank you, miss. Yeah, I went to where we go. Went to China. That was cool. It was like five of us. Oh, one of the guys on the tour was Chinese. <laughs> what? That's good. If you go to China, like, look, we got a Chinese guy. <laughs> okay, but like, he wasn't like Chinese, Chinese. You know what I'm saying? He was Korean. <laughs> but I was like, eh, who's gonna know? Well, I tell you who knew. Chinese people knew. And they knew from a distance. Like, <laughs> I don't think they like you, dog. Which was messed up because he thought he was Chinese. Look, he's from Philadelphia. Uh, if you know Philadelphia, like, you know, that North Philly is like a lot of black people, and that's where he grew up. So you know what they called him, right? China man. <laughs> Look, everybody's like, wait a minute, Tony, that's racialist. <laughs> man, black people are not racialist. <laughs> we are uh, descriptive. We call it like we see it, you know what I'm saying? Like, say you're a big woman with a bad attitude. You fat bitch. <laughs> so, boom, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, motherfucker. Just go with it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this side of the room don't like me at all. <laughs> That's all right, fuck that. We're just doing this side right there. <laughs> It's all good. I should have told you about my trip. You didn't want to fucking hear about it. It's all good. And then, you know, Asia is the land of discovery. And what? You discover a lot of shit. I, I was over there five hours and I figured out why Chinese people are so little. Hmm. Everybody's looking at me like, what? No, they fucking look. You know why they so little? They eat with sticks. Yeah, you find yourself just want to tap people on the shoulder and go, hey man, that's soup. <laughs> you gonna need a spoon or some cornbread or something. I thought you was clever. My bad. You know, and see this room, this day sensitive. And and I want to apologize, but fuck that. Listen, I just do like this. Ta da! <laughs> That's magic. That means it never happened. And I learned that at a very young age. I saw a magician. This guy was amazing. He was spinning plates and everything, pulling like handkerchiefs <laughs> out and all the kinds of shit. I wasn't really impressed until he leaned over and tapped me on the forehead and change fell out my nose. Like, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? This dude is amazing! Look at this! 
I couldn't even watch the show no more. Like, just stop, I can stop now. <laughs> then he he pulled out a black box and he opened it up and a white dove came out. <laughs> and flew around the room. Whoa. Then it came back and took a black handkerchief, threw it over the dove and went, ta-da. <laughs> and the dove disappeared. Then he went on with some other magic bullshit, like, guess my car, fuck your car. Where the bird? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is my grandmother's house, bitch. You can't just go, ah, I got that bird. <laughs> I'm like, can't that with the bird? And he looked me right in the eye and goes, there never was a bird, motherfucker. <laughs> and I'm thinking, that's kind of harsh to say to a Samuel at his birthday party. <laughs> Why are you cussing me, magician? He said, I never cursed at you. Ta-da! <laughs> yes, this is a horrible world tour show. Because we ain't went nowhere. Because they just gave me a life. Fuckers. I know this is a bad way to end a relationship. <laughs> this side room, I couldn't get nothing out of them. I felt like I was having sex with a really big woman. Because <laughs> like, mm, they were making noise, you know, because that's what big women do. <laughs> she, she, she had sleep apnea. <laughs> How you like that? She goes, that's my navel. <laughs> I didn't hit the right. <laughs> she got to say, hey, what happened in China? I am fuck it. Because <laughs> I was going to tell you the best part, we went to Africa. Which was a letdown to me, because we didn't go like to, you know, Africa, Africa, like, oh yeah, you know. <laughs> no, we went to an uh, island off the coast of Africa called Seychelles. You heard of it before? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no indigenous people. <laughs> See, there was there was people of color there, but guess what? I was like the darkest one. I'm like, fuck, this feel like Connecticut. <laughs> right? No animals, but they still had African shit. Ooh. Like, you'll be standing around, you see a small bird flying towards you, and you get close, you're like, oh shit, that's a mosquito. <laughs> what the fuck? Right, you can see going, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> like, what the fuck, man? And I can see them up close, and I always thought the mosquito's thing was right here. And they went, nah, got you, you know. But no, it's, it's right here. Like, no. And he landed on somebody next to me, and I start to say something, but. Ooh, how often do you get to see something like that? Because right? he just landed, yeah, and I was going to say something, and I'm like, I want to, you know. But, and he reared back with his sword, ding a -ling, and did like that, then karma kick thing, because he looked at me and said, you next, dog. I'm like, hey! Made me think I was in jail. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm just here for traffic violations. A lot of this shit you ain't going to get to you on your way home. <laughs> It's probably not the best way to end the show. Probably wasn't the best way to start one either. <laughs> but now I'm hearing that little voice. You know that voice you hear when you're in the casino? That voice that goes, you should have left a long time. <laughs> so, yeah, now I got to put all my shit back on. But I had, a, I had a good time. I, <laughs> I couldn't really see y'all. Don't even clap yet. It's like poetry night. Because you don't know if I'm done yet. Today! My black boy! Oh. Then go, shh, he's not done. <laughs> Thank you, Poetry Night people. So I always say this at the end of my show or seminar. Because <laughs> they didn't laugh. My, oh, I dropped my gloves. Thank you, man. Things you're in prison for a thousand. <laughs> I care about you, dog. God bless you all. My name is Tony Woods. Good night.